Well, enter a man they call the Lion of Bundaberg, Keith Pitt, the 53-year-old National Party member for the seat of Hinkler, centred around Bundaberg. In the defeated Morrison government, he was the Minister for Resources and Water. He's got a Bachelor of Engineering from the Queensland University of Technology. He recently wrote, because his electorate is based around Bundaberg, quote, if you walked up the main street in Bundaberg and asked a dozen people if they thought the local council achieving net zero emissions by 2050 was a key priority, what do you think the answer would be? Well, ask Keith Pitt to join me. He can give me the answer. Keith, thank you for your time. Good to talk to someone with a bit of common sense. What would the answer be down the streets of Bundaberg? Well, the answer would be no. And we've just heard today, Alan, that rates will go up here by almost 4%. So, you know, it's just a ridiculous proposition. I just want our response to be proportional to our contribution in terms of this debate. And I want our electricity network to be designed by engineers, not focus groups, because they actually know what they're doing. If you put a bridge design to, uh, you know, a group of people and poll what looks nicest, what do you do when it collapses and kills hundreds of people? Wonderful stuff. You've been an opponent of this net zero emission stuff, but as a former resources minister, you weren't able to make it into Little Proud's shadow ministry. You were either not good enough or you didn't fit in with the Little Proud line. Come on, share with my viewers, which is it? Oh, Alan, I was very clear. Uh, the leader that took us to the election was Barnaby Joyce. I voted for Barnaby and that may or may not have had some influence. Uh, but look, the, the reality of the world is very straightforward. Uh, it'd be easy to put the queue in the rack and sit down and let the states do really dumb things, but that would destroy our country. Uh, it, it is not in our interest to have an electricity network, such a critical piece of infrastructure, be unreliable, unaffordable, drive manufacturing out of Australia. It's not in our nation's interest. It's the reason I fight to try and get some common sense into this debate. Why did the Nationals give ground to Morrison and agree before Glasgow to net zero emissions by 2050? Well, that was a decision of the party room, Alan, uh, and in our room, majority rules. Well, you know, welcome to politics, as, as you know. That's, yes. that's just how it works. Morrison... But we have seen the Labor government come out now. 43% yeah, so... they want to put on, yes. legislate it, make it unlawful not to achieve. Well, what do you make of that? I mean, that's just a suicide note. Oh, I, I think it's crazy. I, I think we've got to get back to the case where technical people are designing what is the most critical piece of infrastructure in this country. It is a really, really complex system to try and run. Uh, we've let the states run basically roughshod over, over the federal government. Uh, Malcolm Turnbull got us into this mess. We should never have been uh, in the electricity network, in the electricity generation. It's a state constitutional responsibility, uh, but somehow it's all our fault. Yes, indeed. You're described as a hardcore opponent of net zero policy, along with the formidable Matt Canavan. Matt declared the net zero target once we saw the energy catastrophe here and in Europe as, quote, all over bar the shouting. 